What is going on guys? Thank you so very much for stopping by the channel once again today in one of the most highly requested games that I play on the channel. WWE 2K22 is out and I used to jump into 2K many many years ago. I had this creative character known as Mr. 9 to 5, the hardest working man in the podcast business that there is. And he is back. And everybody was asking me when the game was coming out, JD, you bring it back, Mr. 9 to 5. JD, you're going to bring back my career, or in this case, my rise. And the answer is yes. And today we're going to jump in to Mr. 9 to 5's new career in the WWE, starting from the bottom, working his way up all the way to the top to be the very best in this business that there ever was and ever is, ever will be. So today, I'm going to bring you my Rise gameplay. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. And he's got the same look, but clearly, with a couple of years off, Mr. 9 to 5 has been hitting the fucking gym, man. He's been in the gym, he's bulked up, and he looks more meaner and badass than ever before, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoy If you do, please hit that thumbs up and let me know what you guys want to see differently. It is yours. This series is yours. Let me know what you want to see as far as presentation. If you guys want to make any changes to Mr. 9 to 5 and let me know what I could do to make him better, please sound off in the comments below. This is my Rise Episode 1. Hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool. But there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. Well, who are you talking to? I, I don't even know who's just talking. Checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty Sounds like of Carmelo Hayes. There. How did you even get in here? Guy up front. Hey, yo, here. honey, how you doing? Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kind of sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, is that how operations are done around here? Stick up for the security guard or blame the... Yeah, listen, man, he's not, he's not to blame here. This is Mr. 9 to 5's journey. This is all he's doing. I'm going to stick him up. Whoa, whoa. Stick up no need him. to get anyone in trouble. He uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, Whatever. Anyway, sound too, you're going uh, to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. Oh, I already have you that squared away. Don't worry about that. I become a WWE superstar. Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd. Turn it off, please. Now, who is this bitch? You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed oh, to. Well, clearly oh, she didn't recruit that me. Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Totally doesn't sound like then a voice, Mr. 9to5. The other whatever. trainees who started right last now. week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Yeah, you struck out, bro. You struck out. Imagine I walk into the performance center, man. I see Bruce Pritchard, Nick Khan, people power. My Rise Hub. This is My Rise Hub. You can discover new storyline opportunities from here by talking to people within this hub or by replying to posts and direct messages in your social media feed. Not sure I want to be on social media. The amount of fans you have is shown in the top left corner of any hub. You can gain more fans by completing storylines and winning matches. The more fans you have, the more storylines you will be able to access. If you find yourself in a hub with no one to talk to, which I hope is the case, especially on Twitter, 
Press triangle to access your My Rise hub menu. From there, you can go to your social media feed or travel to different locations in order to find a new storyline opportunity. Who do we want to talk to, man? Hector Flores? Paragon J. Pierce. This guy looks like a prick. We're going to talk to Hector Flores. See what Hector Flores hey, has to say. new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. Started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. Yeah, you don't look it's like you measure up, man. Go up hit the gym. Me. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry. Football! Soccer. I chose wrestling. I choose I American football. football. American, to be clear. I had no interest in all that running they do in soccer. Plus, I love the physicality of football. I can see how that relates to wrestling, but how'd you end up here? Well, I don't play well with others. It's a team sport, and I don't play well with others. Just ask any of my former teammates what happened when they pissed me off. So athletic guy who can't control his temper wants to find new way to get paid. Is that about right? Yeah, that's Listen, man, I don't like the tone of your fucking okay voice, you? okay? I guess we'll find out. New guy looking for a new way to get paid that doesn't play well with others, all right? You know what? Heck, the floor is go fuck yourself, bro. Who else we got here? We got new notifications. Let's see what's going on. Let's go to social media. Social media will be a big part of your My Rise. Social media posts appear in your social media feed and direct messages appear in your DM inbox. All right, all right. I know how social media works, 2K. Um... Five new baby lambs on the farm, says Liv Morgan. Hey, let me go hit up fucking Bo Dallas and see what's going on. Paragon, never compromise. Even when others claim they are worthy of your time, they're not. I don't like this guy already. Tasia-tastic. Question for any fellow WWE fans. Best era. Oh, sounds like one of these fucking no-life geeks on there that doesn't have any friends in real life. They gotta reach out and question... Everybody on social media so that they feel like they have friends. Corey Klein, this is what we need. As, as head recruiter at the PC, I'm always looking f for new talent, including anyone who is interested in a lucrative career in security. I, I might have gotten that guy fired. Hey, yo, boss man, what's going on? We know you're not in charge, bro. We know you're not in charge anymore. So I don't even know why I'm reading this tweet. Just had an all-brand meeting with the GMs. From NXT to SmackDown and Raw. <laughs> this guy thinks he's still in charge, man. The WWE Universe is in for some exciting stuff. Hashtag for the Fed. Yeah, yeah, right. Where, where have we heard that one before? Uh, what do we got? What, what do we got to do? DMs. Corey Klein. Oh, you're slipping into my DMs, honey. All right. What are you? Looking forward to having you as a part of the WWE family. I emailed over instructions for your first day of training at the PC. Don't be late for orientation. I'd leave some extra time for parking and checking in with security. I got you. I got you. This guy here, man. Can we can we reply to Paragon? Should we talk to Paragon here? Attribute upgrades. Yes, I know how this works. Um, resilience is what we're going to need, right? Let's give us a seven there. Uh, defense, let's give us a four. Submission, let's give us a four. Aerial running. Uh, yeah, aerial running is us uh, uh, you know what, let's, let's do the five, striking. What do I gotta do? Yes. Okay. Is that good? All right. Who who we are? So let's start the Paragon here. Hey, who are you? You look like Curtis Axel, bro. Who are it's you? My first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. No, Pierce, nobody watches that shit, man. Fuck the Joshi. The biggest free agent okay. WWE signs Fuck since the AJ Styles. 
<laughs> bigger, actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. This guy's the biggest signing since AJ Styles. At the highest level in the world. So you're a football player, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into our sport, think it's gonna be easy. Well, who do you think I am, Barry Corbin? Real wake up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to sing you running back to whatever team you were cut from. You remind me of a lot of the guys I played against. All talk. Luckily for them, when the whistle blew, I couldn't punish them anymore. Last time I checked, there's no whistles here. Yeah, but there's a whole lot of wrestling rings, which you have very little experience in. Oh, clearly you're you don't know where now, I come rookie. from, bro. When I'm done with you, you're gonna be begging for a whistle. We'll see. I shove that whistle so far up your fucking pee hole there, Paragon. You fucking... Do we gotta talk to this guy? This guy looks like Matt Riddle's little brother, bro. Do I gotta talk to this guy? Hey, bro. You wanna go out back and smoke some weed, bro? Who is this guy? I heard you were starting today. Big fan. <laughs> Are you a referee? Are you a referee here, or...? Oh, no, man. I'm training to be a wrestler. Oh, yeah! I know I'm a bit on the smaller side. But I'm actually crossing over from another sport, too. Oh, yeah, where's that, I Kyle Tiffin? I'm in minor league baseball. Oh, yeah? Really? You're know, milking the cows and uh, the feeding the pigs and the chickens. Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler oh, and actually right helped wrestler. me get a shot here. <laughs> Not that I couldn't have you made it You know, my favorite my wrestler own. is uh, Henry Godwin. So that explains it. Your Lawler's charity case. It's not like that. I used to go I to the Indies and watch here. You'll see. Hillbilly sure. and Jim. If I need a mascot to cheer me on, I'll let you know. Whatever. I was going to ask you to autograph your football card for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. I wasn't going to give it to you anyway. anyway. I signed a whole bunch of waivers already, saying I'm not liable for anything. I'm going to injure you. How about I give you one of those? I'd prefer the card, but I guess that'd be cool too. Thanks. We were saying there. How about I get you a basket of eggs from the fucking chicken farm, you fucking pussy? Oh my goodness. What what's this? Coach Sears. Good luck on your first day training. Keep your head down. Give it a hundred percent. And trust the process. Just be or just like what we wanted for you in football. Yeah, thanks, coach. But don't know if all that worked for me in football. Otherwise, I might still be playing. Maybe it's time to do different things or things differently. Fair enough. But whatever you do, just stay out of trouble. I don't care who I upset. I spent my entire life trying to follow the rules to stay out of trouble, and it hasn't worked. I'm going to make an impact here. And I don't care who it upsets. Work hard during the day, work hard at night, if you know what I mean. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit <laughs> to the start of this WWE What's going journey. on, bro? The rest you of know you me. have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. Yeah, where are you at now, bro? I'd love to know. The whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages Yo, thing. Listen, Hillbilly Jim, it shut the fuck awesome. up, bro. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about <laughs> your cool <laughs> DX intro you did. Chase. What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Yo, HBK, can you, can you tell me mind, why you blocked me you on Twitter, bro? You will be judged at all what times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff <laughs> certainly have judge. input. Oh, these guys are fucking comedians, He'll decide man. when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, these guys are comedians, Raw, and SmackDown judge. here. He's not fucking so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call. Listen, Paragon, shot. you fucking okay. cocky bitch. Now this that all guy, that's out of the way, we're going to start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. 
All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Do I want to face Paragon? Shawn Michaels. Uh, choose from the guy standing next to you. I'm not an option. Look, I could beat one of these guys, but that would be expected. I want to do the unexpected in WWE, like defeating a two-time Hall of Famer on my first day here. I know that might rub people the wrong way, but I don't care. I want to make an impact, and I want to do it right now. Uh, Hunter, you seeing this? This is your chance <laughs> to say you're kidding. I'm not. He ain't sitting back there, dog. What are you talking cool. about, man? I'll do it. He ain't charge Sean, anymore. That's really not necessary. Look, if I was standing there in his shoes 30 years ago, I might have said the exact same thing. I'm not the HBK I used to be. But well, clearly. One thing hasn't changed. I don't lie down for anybody. Let's see what you got, kid. If there's one thing Let's that's go, Sean. changed, teach him why you're the showstopper. Clearly, your fucking hair is gone, bro. Sorry, Everything's I was changed. A big fan. Old habit. There we go, man. There we go. Yeah, referee. Same, same fucking thing. Oh. Oh my goodness. This guy's fucking kicking my ass already. Look at this shit. I can't even get any offense in. Get up. Holy shit, I'm already fucking down. Yeah, what happened? HBK. Geek. Get up. Oh. Hey, what happened, bro? That's right, bro. Go for a dirty pin. <laughs> I'm cheating inside the performance center, man. Yeah, man. Mr. 9 to 5 going to work over here, bro. Yeah! Go for the pin, bro! There you go! He's selling to the crowd for it. Nobody gives a shit about Road Dog. Look at this. Double underhook suplex. Nicely done. Look at this. Northern light suplex by Mr. 9 to 5, man. He's learned some new tricks over here. Come on, HBK. You gotta be better than this, man. Holy shit. There you go, knee right to the midsection, man. When we getting our, uh, our finish over here, bro? Big power slam there by HBK. Hey, what happened, bro? Come on. You, you should know better, HBK. I'm gonna show you who really is in charge, man. Another double underhook suplex here. I don't know if the, the moves are all uh, basic. Look at this. Look at that. Nice perfect plex there, bro. We're going for a finish. We, we, we got our finish, right? Oh, yeah. I got my signature. Oh, my goodness. He's setting up. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Come on, man, I'm stunned! Yeah, that hurt. Bro, I had this guy beat about six different times already. Come on, nine to five, get up, bro! Look at this guy. Oh my goodness, man! Get up! This guy set up again for Sweet Chin music. That's it. Goodbye for me. One, two. Whoa! Kicked out. This ain't going well, man. This this guy's just toying with me right now, man. Where's my finish? Here we go, here we go, come on. Come on, bro. Yeah, that's the Johnny Gargano special, I know. Yes, look at that! Come on, Hall of Famer. There it is, man. There it is. To paper gets it done. The decisions you made during this storyline have changed your alignment. What do you got to tell me, Chief? I'll hand it to you. Took a lot of guts to call me out and then back it up in the ring. I said I was going to make an impact, and that's exactly what I did. It was a risk, and also a bit of a shortcut. From my experience, those two things don't always work out. But this one did, didn't it? I guess so, since Triple H just texted me that he saw our match on his live feed. He said he was impressed, <laughs> and he'd be keeping an eye on hey, you. Triple H, yeah, sure thing. Well, there you go. Everything turned out great, didn't it? Yeah, except for my sore back. Wasn't exactly planning on competing today. Now I'm paying the price. Just keep in mind this is one match. You still have a lot to prove before you're ready for WWE. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure thing. Uh, l l let's see. Let's see the notifications. We don't want to talk to this guy. Five new baby. Uh, five new baby lambs on the farm. Says Liv Morgan. Should I reply to her? No. Question. Gonna get a lot of stands for attitude, I'm sure, but give me the era that gave us legends like Ric Flair and Jerry Lawler any day. I hear ya, but don't leave my macho man out of the convo. Triple H. Doing our best to deliver the best in sports entertainment while you're always sucking up. Adam Pierce is sucking up, apparently. Personally, I never have time for it. Too busy managing Raw and making my, my brand better than yours. So Mandy Rose is the GM of Raw here? William Regal, that's the GM I want.
That's all that. Nobody else is in my DMs. Oh, yeah, Coach Sears. Fuck out of here, Coach Sears. And right, what do we got here, bro? Uh, Paragon, Jay Pierce. What's going on, man? What the hell was that? What do you mean? I mean calling out Shawn Michaels on your first day. There are oh, you didn't have the balls to, to do it yourself? Here. The fuck are you asking me There's for? There's a system in place. Who do you think you are to just ignore all that? Oh, I gotta follow the rules here, Jay Pierce. I think I'm the top prospect now. No, just because you caught an old timer off guard doesn't fuck make you, you the top off guard. He anything. accepted the challenge, bitch. That title still belongs to me, and everyone here knows it. That's not what Triple H posted on social media. Wait, what did he say? Man, it sure is easy to get in your head. I'll keep that in mind going forward. It looks like you had a nervous switch there, uh, Mr. J. Pierce. Let's go to a set of fucking balls and do what I did, then come talk to me. Are you gonna follow the rules around here? Hey, yo, D.O. Double G, what are you doing over here, bro? Shawn Michaels is over here, too, huh? Hey, we'll talk to Dog. What's going on, man? Just so you know, I'm not cool with how you acted on your first day. Challenging Shawn Michaels might have worked out, but it isn't how we do things. Oh, you, you, want a, you want a piece of me? So I'm not trying to be cute or anything, but you're in my doghouse. <laughs> yeah, where are, where are you now, bro? That's what I want to ask. Where are you now? Let me save you some time. If you're looking for some kind of apology or for me to admit I was wrong, it's not going to happen. Fine. If I can't talk some sense into you, then maybe I can get through to you in the ring. Oh, you want a piece of me, huh? Oh, you didn't know. Are you saying you want me in a match? Damn straight. You and me today, one on one. Oh, my goodness. Hey, you know what? I'm going to pass. I, I already beat Shawn Michaels. Man, I'm going to you. What am I going to prove by me? I'm going to pass, oh, bro. You didn't know? Your ass is washed up. So I'm going to pass. Get out of here. Wants to wrestle me. Hey, yo, HBK, what's going on, man? Did I already talk to you? So, Road Dog and I were thinking, since apparently you want to stand out so much around here, that we should come up with some new ways to challenge you. What you have in mind? One of my favorites is what I'm calling show up or throw up. Basically, you have to do 500 squats and then wrestle chase without throwing up. All right. Sounds easy enough. I'm in. Good. Try your best not to throw up. Road Dog has a weak stomach, so he'll start blowing chunks too. And it could get ugly real fast. Show up or throw up. This is the storyline confirmation prompt. It will give you information on the storyline, including the potential rewards gained on completion. You always have the option to confirm or back out of storyline through this prompt. All right. Sure. I guess we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take this, this challenge. Oh, look, I got no health. Yeah, what happened, Chase? What happened, Chase? Ah, you chicken farmer over here, man. What's going on? Mr. 9 to 5 is, uh, he's excited now, man. Yeah. This guy's stunned. Get him up. Yeah, what happened, Chase? I better, I, I better elbow drop the macho man. Two. Bet you didn't see that on the fucking farm growing up, huh? Break the hold. Ah, come on. Get him up. Here we go, man. 
Listen, man, I'm going to put a pen to paper on your termination right now, okay? That's all I got to do. There you go. Goodbye. Goodbye, bro. Take it easy. Go see Road Dog, man. Apparently, he wanted to wrestle me. Clearly, he's no match for me, okay? That's right. That's right. Go back to the farm. That's right. I gained, uh, I gained almost 1,100 new fans, man. Look at that. Oh, you didn't know? Just so you know, I'm not cool with how you acted on your first day. Challenging Shawn Michaels might have- Yeah, you already told me this. Fine. If I can Are you saying- Damn straight. Now I'm gonna pass. Oh, you still want did. me to match get out? I, I, repeating lines to me over your dog. What, what, what's, what's your problem? I may have to wrestle him. Oh, Titus! Yo, what's the catering today, bro? What do you got for me? Have a huge football W for the alma mater. The orange and blue just keep winning. If I was still lining up for my school, that game would have been gone a whole lot different. You'll get them next time at Coach Sears. No, he won't. You're not in college anymore. You're in my world. Hashtag scoreboard. You're a bench warmer, Titus. Just like you were in college. Big talk from someone who's the freshman on the team of WW. How about I come down there and face you in a football-style match? Whoever scores the most points in 10 minutes wins. Deal? It sounds like fun. Make sure you bring those mini hot dogs for me, bro. Here, I heard they're del delicious. Absolutely fucking hilarious, man, that I end this episode going into a match with Titus O'Neil of the world famous Titus Catering. You know, he makes shit for the venue, right? He makes all these delicious foods right here in the OTS venue. You guys know that every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Titus O'Neil wants a piece of Mr. 9 to 5. Awesome, awesome first episode. Guys, if you enjoyed that, let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Please hit that thumbs up. Let's try for a thousand likes minimum on today's WWE 2K. My rise, my career mode with the new and improved and obviously buff. Mr. 9 to 5. I'll see you guys in episode 2. We got a long way to go. And I'll see you right back here with more WW2K content right here on the channel. See you guys later.